Hi, I'm Trish. Welcome to the Lockdown Lounge Top Sew Along video. This pattern is a woven combined with a knit. The seam allowances are all one centimetre, three eighths of an inch, and we'll discuss how we deal with the fabrics as we go through the video. So the most important thing you need to know is the main part of the fabric needs to be something light and flowy like a chiffon or a rayon, a crepe, something just a very nice light drapey summer weight fabric. She is a great. Because we're dealing with a really light fabric it's a good idea and you should do this every time you start to sew to test stitch on two layers of fabric. You want to make sure you have um, a new needle in your machine. You don't want to cause any pulls or runs as you go. And also test stitch your overlock. Now because this is a woven, you only need three threads in your overlock. I'm going to leave mine on four and you will need four for the cuffs as well if you're sewing that view. So let's just jump straight into it. This is a very fast, quick sew. Um, and let's start by sewing our shoulder seam together. Place the front and back of your garment right side together. And this is my neck and we're going to sew the shoulder seam together at one centimetre. Which is three eighths of an inch. Okay, so go ahead and do the other shoulder as well. Now take this to your overlocker and overlock the raw edge. Use your blade to tidy off any stray threads that have come from the fabric. And then go and press your garment towards the back. Place your garment right side up and make sure that that seam at the shoulder has been placed towards the back. So this is the back, this is the front and this is the shoulder seam. And then place the right side of the sleeve to it. In the very center of the sleeve there will be a notch to match and that notch matches to that shoulder point there. So depending on the fabric that you've chosen this might be slippery. The easiest way to deal with it is just to start off and secure your seam and then everything else will become much easier as you sew. So do the same thing for the other sleeve, then overlock and press that towards the cuff. So make sure that seam is pressed facing towards the wrist or the cuff area. Next we're going to sew the side seams. To sew the side seams, place your garment right side together and I'm going to stitch from the wrist area through the side seam making sure that those seams match exactly all the way to the hem. When you've finished, overlock the edge and give the garment a press. 
then repeat on the other side. So now we're going to work on the hemline. Some people have a lot of problems with chiffons, especially sewing straight lines, such as straight hemlines, because it can go wavy, and that's generally because it's really hard to cut these on grain. So a really good trick is to rip your fabric across the width before you place your pattern piece down. And when you do put your pattern piece down, you place the hem against that ripped edge. So that way you'll always ensure that the garment is on grain at the hemline and your hemline will be really straight. So it makes our life really easy when we're going to do our, our hem now. So there's a one, centi uh, one inch, two and a half centimeter hem allowed. You can choose to do a double fold, which means fold up by five mil and then two centimeters. Or you could do quarter inch and then so, um, turn up by three quarter inch. Yes, I have to check those. So you want an inch total up. So that's called a double fold. We fold once, press, fold again, and stitch. But I think this garment would look much nicer with an overlocked edged press up and then stitch down through the overlocking. So that's what I'm going to do. So starting at a side seam, I'm just going to overlock to secure that raw edge. So what I'm going to do now is go to my iron, I'm going to press by one inch, two and a half centimetre hem up, and then go stitch it down with my plain sewer. So I've pressed my hem up, and now I'm going to stitch it in place through the overlocking line. I'm going to do mine from the right side of my fabric, um, simply because my fabric is sheer and I can see exactly what I'm doing. So just make sure you start at the left hand side seam and that you back tack to begin and try and sew a really straight line directly through your overlocking. Okay, so go ahead and give that another press and we can move on to the neckband. Here is our neckband. We're going to fold it right sides together and overlock the short edge. Now we have allowed a one centimeter allowance here. If you want to chop off that extra four mil with your overlocker blade, that's fine. So it's a I've allowed three eighths of an inch and I'm actually only going to stitch at um, quarter an inch. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference but if you want to you can certainly stitch that at one centimetre. Take your neckband and fold it wrong sides together. Now this seam is going to become our centre back seam. Center back next seam and directly opposite that 
there is a notch which you need to match and that is going to become our center front neck seam to match to our center front notch and then between these two points we also have a notch and they are going to match to our shoulder seam. Now if you struggle with putting bands on, now is the time to go to your plain sewing machine and just stitch the two edges, the raw edges together, just in from the edge, so maybe an eighth of an inch, just one or two millimeters, just to hold that band together. So now we're working on the neck band, so place your garment wrong side out with the front at the front and the back at the back. In the centre back of the neckline you'll see two notches. So what we're going to do is place our neck band into the garment, into the middle of the garment with the seam side at the centre of those two notches and just secure that with a pin. As we come around to the side seam, we're going to match the notch to the side seam. We're going to match the centre front notch to the notch at the centre front of our garment. And the remaining notch goes to our other shoulder seam. And we want our seams to face towards the back. Now there is a need to gently stretch your neck band to fit. It's only a gentle stretch. Also it's a good idea to start on one of the shoulders. The other thing I would like to say if you are using a chiffon and it's sheer, this is going to be so, uh, shown when it's worn. So just make sure you're very careful with your sewing and that that seam allowance is even as you go. And we are going to sew this at a centimetre and then we can finish it off with our overlocker to tidy that edge up. So just check your work and make sure you're comfortable with it. Now I did notice on samples, depending on the stretch of your um, fabric, you may or may not need to adjust this length. So I've made this for ribbing. Um, you may need to make your band personally shorter or longer, depending on how easy you find it to go into the chiffon. So check your work and just make sure that you are comfortable with what it looks like. Um, then go and overlock that together and what is really nice is because it's chiffon is to stitch either with a cover stitcher or a twin needle that band down. So I'm going to stitch my neck band down just with my plain sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the shoulder and generally the left shoulder 
and the width of this is completely up to you. I'm going to stitch mine probably, um, oh, it's probably an eighth of an inch, so it's about two mils from the edge. Okay, give that a good press and we'll move on to the cuffs. Now fold the cuff right side together and overlock that short seam. Repeat. And now fold the cuff back on itself so it is wrong sides together in half and make sure the notch matches at the seam opposite here. So now we work on the cuff. I've just tacked those raw edges of the cuff together just to make it a little bit easier on myself. And I've placed the cuff right side together to the wrist area of the garment. So we want to match the seams. And directly opposite this notch here, there's another notch, which is going to match a notch on our wrist area. And just like we did for the neckband, we're going to sew that into place with a one centimeter seam, gently stretching that to fit. Now repeat that for the other wrist and then go to the overlocker and tidy those seams. So once you've overlocked both of those cuffs into place, go ahead and do some quality control work, trim any stray threads and give your garment a really good press and you're finished. So thanks for joining me, thanks for buying the pattern. Definitely this view is the trickier of the two views, you'll probably find the other view with the full stretch lower sleeve easier to sew. It'll be interesting to hear your feedback on my Facebook group. And thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And I'll see you again soon for the next Sew Along video.